Hello, everyone. Welcome to this algebra lesson. Last time we solved the equation x squared equals four in two different ways. In this lesson, we will apply the shortened method to a more complicated example. Let's try to solve the equation x minus three squared equals five using the shortened method. We get x equals two, three plus or minus the square root of five. Of course, not all quadratic equations have a perfect square on the left side like this one. So it would be convenient if we could find a way to make the left side a perfect square. There is a method to do this. It is called the method of completing the squares. In the next lesson, we will solve the equation x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. You might be interested to know that this problem is really equivalent to the one we just did. See you next time.